Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a natural log equation. We have ln 1 plus i to the power x equals 1, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'll do what is very common. When we have a power like this, we can go ahead and use the properties of logs and bring it to the front. So let's go ahead and do that. That's going to give us x ln 1 plus i equals 1, and I'm going to divide both sides by ln 1 plus i, and that's going to give me the answer, or is that the answer in the simplest form? So the question is, what is ln 1 plus i? That's what I need to find out, right? So let's go ahead and take a look. What is ln 1 plus i? How can I find it? To find ln 1 plus i, I'm going to write the 1 plus i in polar form. And I'm going to use Euler's formula. So remember, a complex number z, or any complex number, can be written as r times e to the power i theta. r is the modulus or the absolute value of z, and theta is the argument or the angle. So 1 plus i on the coordinate system is going to be at 1, 1. Therefore, it's going to make a 45 degree angle with the x-axis, or the real axis, as people say it. And this is the imaginary. So this is pi over 4 radians, and the modulus, the absolute value, is going to be square root of 2 from the Pythagorean theorem, right? This is 1, 1, root 2. So let's go ahead and write this as follows. We can put the r outside, root 2, but we have to put the ln first, right? So ln of what? Root 2 times e to the power i times pi over 4. Okay? Easy. Compact form. Now... We're going to ln this, but remember, x is the reciprocal of that, so we're going to go ahead and find the reciprocal once we simplify this. So if we have the ln of a product, remember root 2 is a real number, e to the i pi over 4 is a non-real complex number. So we kind of have to split it up into two parts, the real and the imaginary, so let's go ahead and do it. Since the log of a product is the log of um, the sum of two logs, so we can write it as ln root 2 plus ln e to the power i pi over 4. Here, we have ln e to the power something. So we can go ahead and bring this to the front, and ln e is going to be 1. So this is going to equal ln root 2, you can leave it like that for now, plus i pi over 4. ln e is 1, so we don't have to worry about it. So this is ln 1 plus i. Now what I need to do is reciprocate it, right? Is that a word? Reciprocate. So we do need 1 over ln 1 plus i. So what's the reciprocal of this expression? It's 1 over ln root 2 plus i pi over 4. If you multiply the top and the bottom by 4, you're going to get something like 4 over 4 ln root 2 plus i pi. And if you really want to write ln root 2 as ln 2 to the power 1 half, the one half is going to cancel out. You're going to get something a little nicer. 4 over 2 ln 2 plus i pi. But this answer is not in the simplest form because we have a complex number at the bottom. So we need to kind of get rid of that by multi multiplying by the conjugate, which is 2 ln 2 minus i pi. And let's go ahead and see what happens. We're going to distribute. The numerator is just going to be 8 ln 2 minus 4 i pi or pi i divided by. Now remember, when you multiply a complex number, and hopefully you've seen some of the videos that I made on my other channel, a plus b i, uh, you can go ahead and check it out if you haven't checked the lecture videos. But we talked about when we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, the answer is always a real number, and it is the sum of two squares. So it's going to be 2 ln 2 squared plus pi squared. Real part squared plus imaginary part squared. We don't include i. Okay? Pi squared. So that should be the answer in the simplest form, and obviously you can split it up into two solutions, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at another approach, and then we're going to go ahead and compare these two approaches. Okay? Second method. The original problem was ln 1 plus i to the x equals 1, right? Okay. So, 
For the first method, we basically just brought the x to the front and divided by ln1 plus i, but then we had to evaluate ln1 plus i. We're going to do something similar, but instead, this time, I want to use the definition of logs. Remember, ln is base e, so if you use the property of logs or the, just the definition, e to the power 1 is going to give you this, right? That's how the logarithms work. So e to the power 1 equals ln, not ln, sorry about that, 1 plus i. Is that right? To the power x, of course. So this means e to the power 1 is e, so 1 plus i to the x equals e. Conventionally, we want to leave x on the left. Uh, it's a little better that way. Now, to be able to solve this problem, I have a e on the right-hand side. I do need to have a power of e on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and use the polar form with Euler's formula again. 1 plus i, we already know that, right? It is root 2 times e to the power i pi over 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and raise this to the power x. I'll tell you what, what happens next. Now e is, how do you write it as a complex number? e is a real number, isn't it? So it's going to be on the real axis, e units from 0, but notice that it makes an angle of 0 radians or 2 pi or 4 pi radians. In other words, e can be written as e times 1, and 1 can be written as e to the power 2 pi n i, where n is an integer. You see? Okay. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. And notice that we didn't have this with the first method. So we'll compare them. Now, obviously, this is first power, so we can go ahead and add the exponents. Don't distribute the x yet. We're going to go ahead and align both sides. And when you do the natural log, you're going to notice that you put an ln here and you put an ln here. Then this power is going to all the way to the front, x ln root 2 times e to the power i pi over 4 equals ln this. But ln e to the power something is just that power, so it's going to be 1 plus 2 pi n i. And eventually you're going to divide by this, and you'll get the answer. But let's go ahead and, before or after, doesn't matter, let's go ahead and separate these, ln root 2 plus ln e to the power something, that's going to be the same power as this one. And this is going to be simplified a little bit. Now let's go ahead and divide 1 plus 2 pi n i divided by ln root 2 plus i pi over 4. Again, like before, let's go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by 4 to get rid of the fraction. Because who likes fractions, right? 4 plus 8 pi n i divided by 4 ln root 2, that's going to be turned into 2 ln 2 plus i pi. And again, as before, you, if you just multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate, you're going to get the same answer, right? But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got for the first solution. When we first solved this problem, we got something like this before the uh, conjugates. So 4 over 4 ln root 2 plus i pi, 4 over 4 ln root 2 plus i pi. And if you turn 4 ln root 2 to 2 ln 2, because root 2 is 2 to the power 1 half, uh, you can basically go ahead and write this as 2 ln 2. And these answers are pretty similar. This is the first method, but they're not exactly the same thing. Why are they different? Let's talk about that real quick. The problem is we're missing the 8 pi n i here. Because if n is equal to 0, you get this specific solution, which we didn't consider with the first method, because I did not change this one to complex form, so that's why we kind of missed that general solution. And I did it on purpose, of course, but anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.